All right. So you guys all know about science, right? There are lots of different science fields. Fields like psychology, biology, chemistry, sociology, archaeology, paleontology, geology, physics, astronomy, and more. Whether they're social sciences, or hard sciences, natural sciences, life sciences, physical sciences, they're all sciences. So we could classify them all under the topic science, right? Accounting is kind of the same way. There are lots of different fields within accounting. You've got financial accounting, management or managerial accounting, tax accounting, sustainability accounting, auditing, bookkeeping, forensic accounting, government accounting, nonprofit accounting, all sorts of different fields within the, the profession of accounting. Our focus, however, in these videos and in this class is going to be on financial accounting. So what we're going to learn in this class is not the sum total of what accounting is. It is merely a piece of what accounting entails. Now, our class is basically broken into four different units. The first unit is all about the accounting cycle. We're going to learn how accounting works, the different steps that are taken, the procedural things that go along with accounting, and its ultimate goal of producing information. In the second unit, we're going to look at that same cycle, but we're going to add the idea of a merchandising business, one that sells products. The third unit, we're going to look at long-term resources and long-term debt. Fourth, we're going to be looking at equity, stocks, and cash flows. Now, we're going to do that throughout the course of these videos using a made-up company called Carl's Canoes. So Carl's Canoes is going to start out as a business uh, that rents canoes for those people that want to go out and have a good time. So we're going to start with that premise. All right, now there's some common misperceptions about accounting and financial accounting in particular that I want to cover before we move into anything else. Number one, this is not a math class. A lot of people think it's a math class. A lot of people think accounting is all about math. Eh, accounting has math. Accounting uh, entails math, accountants do math, but the math is pretty simple. The math is not the hard part. Accounting is much more like a language. And so we're going to approach this course like a language study. Obviously, if you look at the different types of accounting, this course is not about taxes. Tax accounting and accounting for taxes um, doing people's taxes, doing businesses' taxes, is a subject for a completely different class. Lastly, accounting has a wide variety of career paths with very different responsibilities and lifestyles. And so there are some accountants who are going to sit at a desk all day, and they're going to crunch numbers, uh, and they're going to analyze numbers, and they're going to use those numbers to help businesses make decisions about uh, their business operations. There are some accountants who investigate financial crimes and then testify in court. And they provide expert testimony. There are some uh, who work for federal agencies like the FBI who investigate crimes and then go after guys who have broken the law. There are some who teach. Some accounting people teach. You have some accountants who travel a lot. Sometimes they're going to travel locally. Sometimes they're going to travel internationally. And then you have some accountants who, you know, carry machine guns and work for the mob. But most of the time that's not really true. So, what is accounting in a nutshell here? Financial accounting. When you look at a business, money comes in, money goes out. There are rules that companies have to follow in order to produce information for investors and owners and lenders 
so that those people can make decisions. Now, the reason those rules are so important is that if everybody follows the rules, then we can take one company's reports, another company's reports, and a third company's reports, or more, and compare them because they've been made using the same guidelines, principles, and rules. So this course is really about the rules companies have to follow in keeping track of all the money and the transactions that they enter into. Now, a couple of things I want to remind you of here at the start of the course. Number one, keep an open mind. Accounting might not be your thing, or at least you might think that at the beginning. But as we get into this, some of you will find that you really enjoy this stuff. Number two, ask questions. Because likely, many of you have never taken an accounting class before. And I bet you're going to have some questions as you go through this stuff. So ask questions of me. Ask questions of your classmates. When you run into something you don't understand or that is not fully making sense to you, make sure you ask the question. Help other people. Some of you in this class will understand stuff quicker than others. And so for those of you who do grasp things fairly quickly, if there are people who are struggling, help them out. Okay? This is difficult Okay, sometimes, whether it's in an online class or in a face-to-face -face class. Making sure that you are uh, talking to people in the class, listening to people's questions and struggles, and helping where you can. If we help each other out, it's going to be a better learning environment. Lastly, do not procrastinate. Okay, This class will build uh, from one chapter to the next. And procrastination is a killer when it comes to accounting classes. So do not procrastinate. Make sure you get your work done on time so that you can ask questions when you have them and get them answered before things come due. So, I want you to remember that accounting rocks. <laughs>